Hey guys, Leland from Rikers Reptiles. So I got a box yesterday and it was improperly packed. And I thought, you know, I've never done a video on how to do a shipment or proper shipment. I've shipped 16 snakes. They've all made it there safe and sound. Knock on wood. And so I thought I'd put together a little video of how I do it. I've received a lot of snakes and I've just taken little bits from everybody's package that they've sent it to me and I've made it my own. Um, so in this video, we'll check out to see how I do it and uh, drop on the comments below if you do it different or you see something I'm doing that you don't like. Uh, make a comment down there and tell me how I could uh, maybe fix that. But anyhow, thank you for watching the video. Please to uh, hit subscribe and follow and hit the bell notification so when I drop a video, uh, you'll get a notification about it, okay? So enjoy the video. Thank you for watching. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to log on to the computer to ship your reptiles and then see what the temperature is along the route. This is the heat pack I'll be using today because the temperatures overnight are dropping into the 50s. And uh, during the day, it's about 60 to 65 degrees. Typically, uh, they say not to use this heat pack and uh, if it's going up to like the high 70s to 80s, don't use a heat pack at that point. If you're into the 80s, you're gonna use an ice pack. And if you're not sure what to use, there's a phone number on Ship Your Reptiles. Call that phone number and discuss it with them. They'll talk to you about the weather and what to use. But anyhow, I like to open this heat pack a half hour before I ship. And the reason why I do that is because I've opened a heat pack before, uh, went to use it, went to package it up a little while later, and it did not heat up. So if you're packaging it up and you're not waiting to see if this thing works, you put it together, it could possibly be a dud. And I've had a, uh, a couple duds. So... Uh, let me get this thing going and we'll skip to the next step okay so there's a red stripe on the heat pack you're not supposed to tape over that red stripe so what i do is i take the heat pack and i wrap it up in this paper towel and then i tape it along the edge along this edge and then i go along these edges so that that tape holds that tape in place and i go all the way around the edge of the box so it's almost impossible for this to fall down and burn your snake because this will reach a maximum, I think 115 degrees is like its max. So that will get quite hot, okay? It's hot now, uh, but that'll heat up in the next uh, 20 or 30 minutes to, to probably the max heat, and then it tapers down. So what I do in here is I usually will put paper towel or shredded newspaper, something to give it a little cushion and to absorb the urine. Now, what I like to do with snakes the night before I ship, I'll typically take them and I'll soak them. I'll give them a 30 minute soak in some warm water and that usually will get them to pee or have the urates come out or soak them up and get them nice and hydrated in case they get stuck in there for a little bit. So either way, I think the soaking is a good thing. So I, I tend to do that on all my snakes that I ship and uh, I have not had a snake go to the bathroom in a bag yet. So I think that's probably the key. Uh, but here is the, okay, here's using for the shipping. So I'll put a little padding down in there. I'll put the snake in there. I'll put padding around the snake and then I'll get the lid on there and then I'll go ahead and weigh the box. Don't forget, you gotta take your measurements. A lot of these boxes will have measurements on the bottom. This one does not, but a lot of them have the measurements down there. So I'll measure this one. I'll get it all weighed up. I'm making my label right now and then I'll get it out to FedEx. And a, a good tip is usually get it to FedEx later in the day so it's not sitting around. Uh, get on the plane. Uh, right at the end instead of sitting out in the elements because usually they'll keep it in the office and then bring it over there so that's how uh, that's how I ship my my snakes I hope you like this little video and uh, go ahead and make some comments down below and we'll see you in the next video thank you